But I mean, they also kind of do still have this... Um, the old school MMO approach they have. Huh? There are apparently going to be some like activities also that will be kind of like server versus server or something. Or like some giga fights or something, I don't know. So I guess they want people still to kind of have this, you know, belonging. Some server or something. I assume, I assume. How's good with his life? Alright, one sec. Let me get some of them uh, noodles. I can zoom in them. And the spicy noodles from uh, Kyrgyzstan. And that's my shit now. Oh, whatever, there is no actual soup and stuff for lunch. I can zoom this nowadays. Eh? Let's see when do I say him. I got into it that hard. Nice big bull, man. He was good. Huh? They actually know how to make that shit. Actually good stuff. like a little less than one box though so i would say it's kind of more on the chunkier side huh? like 90 cents or something but at least the amount and everything's good huh? and really tasty i already did the most of the 1.0 i see huh? I pulled the shark girl, ah, the priorities, eh? Are you farming enough stuff for that, though? And do they give a lot? I pulled the plenty, actually, I see, eh? I only got the bear one. Not the hammer girl. Let's see when do I see him. Pool six you and them, son. That's a lot of pools indeed, then. Some of the combos going with them. How oh, does work? How does that work? Stuck a single element or faction, I see. Yeah. Can I deal with the with the all the encounters with only one element though? I would assume they will put some some enemies to counter that.
Get some Giga Farming going, probably. Oh. The amount of shit that game can display at the same time is actually quite impressive, huh? It's not even like that many people, like possibly more yesterday. I guess everyone is just kind of like distributed right now. At the end of the event when everyone will be turning in the tails, that's gonna be dink. Town is filled to the brim, I see. People in the morning actually getting in finally, especially in Saturday. Optimization is actually quite something, considering how it looks. I just pulled uh, through uh, the vulnerability, I see. <laughs> oh, hukes. Sorry, I'm just gonna finish the food. The percent in crafting? Oh, you mean the chances and everything? Oh, does it work? I mean, like in the, the weapon crafting and stuff? Yeah. Well, I think it's kind of... Hmm... I guess... I guess a little better made. Sort of. I, I guess it kind of just the looks. Just the graphics. Instead of, you know, like having a chance to like succeed or fail. It basically kind of... Progress is all the time, but you have the chances, you know, how much you, you will progress, basically. In upgrading. What was it doing in, in crafting, actually? It was on the enchanting. Oh, craft, yeah. What was the, the percentage doing there? Like the dagger, let's see. I need to go to the crafter anyway. Yeah, with them taxes rates and everything. And it's gonna be a bunch of like the... <clears throat> the, gu the guild wood stuff going for all the, the towns. And I guess, yeah, that's where the, the taxes are gonna be gonna be going in. But yeah, at least for like, what, what does it do for... Um, <clears throat> for the crafting, I don't remember. It's like how good they are or something? I don't remember. On, up on upgrade you have um, the chance to... Uh... You have to get like more uh, boosts. Say 35% until the next level and then you like do the upgrade and that's gonna show... Uh, the, ch the chance uh, gonna define how much will it actually progress the, the XP stuff. The level 10 started uh, 30 minutes ago. I mean, I'm 11 or something, right? Yeah. If you skip everything, especially, it goes like super fast. I'm just like watching at least some cutscenes. Uh, skipping everything else and doing some side things. Not sure if it's actually even like giving you that much. Hmm, do I actually have. Nine stat points, damn son. Some more decks, fine. Yeah, Tari's good morning. How are we doing? Oh, 
finish in my insane noodles in them. Hey Parian, good morning. How are we doing? Gucci Tamaguchi. Feels good, man. Feels good. I'll see part of this day, I'm on the last day of vacation. Feels bad, man. A good weather is nice. I like good weather. I wish we had some more of that. That's the problem here. Like, the bad weather is actually bad as in like you know usually like bad weather is like cold rainy but at least it's cold you know for a change in summer here is like bad weather it's only like rainy it's only like gray but it's not cold man it's still fucking hot so i can't go can't go swimming even with this weather but it's still hot though. I'm getting the worst. Getting the worst. Was the better? I mean, I kind of like in the beginning still, really. So far, so good. Like it, it's it's uh, actually like okay, pretty smooth and, and nice in uh, gameplay. Combat, it's pretty alrighty. It's really good in performance. It's like that that is actually quite impressive because it actually like loads and displays like a shitload of stuff in the same time. Can't really see the scale like that much here. But still, like in town especially. Apparently that gives us draw, you know, as uh, the flip side of handling a lot of uh, calculations and stuff on the client side. Which, you know, is prone to be kind of vulnerable to different manipulations. But not sure how true that is. That I kind of just, you know, sort of <coughs> hearsay thingy. So yeah, it is, it is really good in that sense. In terms of performance, in terms of technical stuff, they're fucking up with servers big time though. Like right now it's morning, so you can easily join any server. But in the evening, nope, forget about it. And it's not even like that crazy, huge of um, the better test like player numbers, at least on PC, for example. I think Steam DB that had like all time peak of like 60k. Well, I assume the, the day of the weekend will be kind of like 100k or something. Like, dude, for like Lost Ark and stuff, they had like New World, they had like 900 mil or something, right? If not billion even. So it's not even like some crazy, crazy loaded. Well, I mean, it's not a release though, it's better. So they kind of still, I guess, testing that stuff. Can't really complain about that, but I hope on release it's not going to be the same shit, really. And the side effect of that also is that, you know, servers are busy, so like someone starts... In the morning, starts on one server, and then there are friends coming, you know, during the day and can join that server already because it's like, you know, full now. And those who can join, in, who join like in the evening after work, for example, they can join any server anymore because all of them are busy and they need to go to like some completely new one. And that just kind of like splits the, you know, the, the, the groups and player base in a way. Or you just like sit and can't even wait for, I don't know, like in Lost Ark it was a while, I remember. Like, the server situation kind of resolved itself, like, really late already. And they, they added, like, the transfer, you know, tokens and stuff. But I think everyone out of my viewers who was playing by that time already stopped playing, really. And soon after I did also. So, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. And that will be fine on release, huh? But, you know, a low hopes there. Oh, it smells good. Someone must be cooking meat out on the plains. Hit the quest window. Is it with um, this button? Or did you completely remove it? I completely removed it. It might be, what's the name? There was the stuff there. Our controller, oh yeah, that might be that might be tricky then. 
A controller might be tricky. There should be also kind of like the button probably to activate the, um, some sort of cursor that you can do with controller too, I guess. I assume. Since there's a lot of drag and drop stuff. Probably. How's the controller actually? I assume for combat controller will be actually better. Camera is a bit slow when you lock on. I think there's something in settings about it, actually. I think. A more refined version of a tab attack, I see. Alright, so that kind of goes with them. The cursor, the target lock rather. Let me clear the target lock. Okay, so right click is kind of like sticking the target there. I just want to figure out how to better adjust and um, improve, you know, the, um, the button usage and everything. Fuck region. Ah, uh, Monka is. Alright, we'll get into the auction. Sorry, just finished with the food. It's gonna put me some water. And then we start. Nowadays, more novice hunters are put in danger while going out to the plains. You're fearless because you're ignorant. Oh well. If you see a hunter in danger, help them. Just like <coughs> I get all the food here. Yeah. A bit earlier. Friend request from People Clown. Damn, son. One and only. There he is. See you. I'll see you. The met was already in the guild or something. The Tutor Guild. Eight hours ago, even played. What a chump. What a man. <clears throat> Actually got the package at least, that's good. Got the clown there, and the clown look even. Now we see the clown. Son, I mean, I guess kinda. 
<laughs> in a way, in a way. I had randomized and got some like some Afro guy with stash, but yeah, you can see the Afro with the uh, with the hat. Oh, nice. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we tested, I guess. Uh, we tested. Eh? Your clown was too strong, dude. Eh? The clown was too strong. Eh? Uh, VB testing. Nice. Classic unreal moment, yeah. And just as I praised the, the performance and everything, it just said no and left. I just said no and left. Then for the first crush in this heat, I see, I see, yeah. I can see Regen, all right. Right, where did you order them, though? <coughs> where did you order them from, then? That's in special context there. Hello, then, good morning. Hmm. That was some quick load, at least. I don't see the mail somehow here. Oh, yeah, there is. Participating, alright. Now that the gift, Oga. Claim 50 newest. Damn, that's gonna be a lot, probably, of stuff. Mm, that's your agent, I see. Yeah. Don't know how to heal others. I also have no idea. Um, I could heal myself only. Like, I do have, like, the target thing that I can lock with a right click. I guess it just kind of stays. Uh, when we didn't start screen turning, right? Let's see it too. I feel like. Oh, because VSync is off now all of a sudden. All right. Now we get him. What's a left click there, actually? Let me see him. The quick slots there. Yeah, it's the sets. All right. You can switch the sets. Use skill and self with alt. Apparently. Use skill indicated target, not bind there, right? I still have no game screen. Of course. Of course. Target one. Oh, yeah, there's some like astral vision stuff. What was the, the button for that shit? In it? Oh, that's the classic mode, eh? I drag to rotate, select the target based on your mouse cursor. Not that we don't want. So yeah, that's kind of like the... The old way. Not like the lineage 2 way, pretty much. Oh, and you, oh, actually. Interesting. So can you hold the camera? WSD works this way then. Actually, you kind of like run the same way with this. Lineage 2 PTSD, yeah. It was supposed to be lineage something, this one. Just... Then, they, then they changed it. I right, lock on with control. Attack, interact with a mouse over target. So just left click somewhere. Party markers. Comparison tooltip targets. 
same target as the party leader. Oh yeah, party members with the control, not sure how it goes on the gamepad there. Hilton. In a way, right, Andrew Agent, yeah. Well, this one was called like Lineage something. And then they decided to rename it. Well, what do we do? Hmm. On this way, I guess. Mm -hmm. And party another player can select your party as a current target by using a party assist. All right. Which server forty? If you plan to play in the evening, then forty might be a bad idea. Except, uh, I don't know if any server is a good idea in the evening. I don't know if any worked. I just uh, instant disconnect me. And when I tried in the evening, couldn't connect to anything. Hey, seek rhythm. Die hello. Alright, okay, so one second. Let's see. Uh, Hunter in the western campsite. I need to talk. That one is right behind me. This one. Wait, Hunter. This one. Oh, I failed. It, it, would you care? S uh, sheep and morph stone at the western campsite and travel to the northern uh, pilgrimage stone at the northern campsite. Alright, so we need to become Shippo here. How do we use actual a stone? Nice, we need to do it through on the morph menu. Get the side quest form? Uh, they just appear. When you're in some area, they just appear. Maybe when you like pass the main quest to some to some level, they just kinda poof. And there they are. So maybe technically should have it. Like I didn't pick them or anything. Oh, they just appear. Maybe you do have them somehow. I don't know how to how you're gonna check it with controller though. Yeah, it's like the region exploration progress. So you probably kind of have it. Maybe I did like some part one of this quest somewhere. No, that was the first one, feels like. I used the Mord of Stone. I cannot become Shippo. No, we actually do need to use the stone. Uh, where do we get? Oh, you got the Shippo already. Where, where do I get the Shippo? Shippo Mord of Stone. Because it's some menu. Should be the quest item, but I don't really see it. Oh, the stone in the world. Oh. Kick. No, this is this, uh, free seeker there. 40 bucks if you want to play early. The usual. Oh wait, you transform that way, right? Okay. You can't sprint. Forty bucks is the the FOMO tax. Oh yeah, some shoot sprint there. No, don't touch me. All 
Alright, Sheep Moonstone, Moonstone, Northern Campsite, travel to Watchtower, Pilgrimage Stone. Dude, ooh, fuck off. The target is like always annoying. When I try to do the OE. Thing about end game content, uh, I did look into it a little bit yesterday, just to kind of, you know, get an idea pretty much. A lot of it is gonna be the PvP center, so yeah, it will it will be. It is it is lineage too in a way, yeah. It does it does have PvE content. It's gonna be world bosses, uh, gonna be uh, dungeons, solo dungeons too actually. Uh, some deep dungeons or whatever, deep dives, whatever. Kind of like you know, I guess sort of like challenge content in a way. Uh, world bosses for guilds only, kind of like instanced world bosses, I guess, for a lot of people. And yeah, a lot of PvP stuff. A shitload of PvP stuff. Now we get to max level. I think it max level is anything, nothing crazy here, though. I do think so. It might be just uh, open better, though. Okay, I saw like people have like you know level fifteen titles and everything a bunch, so I assume everyone is just. Wait, what? Oh, okay. So I assume everyone just kind of a uh, cup in, in open better, and pretty fast seems like since it's just open better. But yeah, there's gonna be like a lot of like faction centered stuff. Alright, deep drop of mysterious sounds, abandoned house near the western campsite. A light or extinguish pathway torch. Operate the wolf trap to protect it from the wolves and then check the wolf trap. Do the event when it's available. The dynamic event. Is it already going? Let's see. Schedule. Can I see all the schedule? Hustle to to toggle friendly. Let's see. The support is not going to be for... Uh, not going to be for the, uh, the gamepad enjoyers. Yeah. Wait, lighten the pathway torch. Nowadays, more novice hunters are put in danger. Mysterious sounds the uh, there. You're fearless because you're ignorant. Oh well. Do you think today's like worse in their performance or something? I mean, my cooler is also blasting today hard. Eh? Maybe yesterday was better. Can't get that, eh? How do we get up there? A bit through the house. Performance normally is insanely good, eh? There's a shitload of people on the screen all the time and everything. It's actually crazy. Shapeshift to Shrewd Wolf. I want to be free. Oh, the mobile with graphics like this, yeah. Yeah, graphics are insane and uh, it actually runs really good. Huh? You would do something with the daughter here. Oh, here probably. Yep. Let's 
insane. Yeah, when you get to the town or something, you'll see. I mean, when this event will start, you'll see. It feels kind of wasted, though. I don't know. Feels a bit pee guy, even though I haven't touched anything. Except I just didn't get crushed, though. Am I getting that insane code there? Contact the resistance and arrange to collect the star fragment. Back to abandoned house. Well, some people said that a lot of uh, a good performance stuff is achieved by uh, moving a lot of things, uh, you know, blind side. Huh? And that's not good. Huh? But not sure how true uh, it is. Eh? Very still kind of PP though. I don't get the timing yet. I'll see you there. Let's keep this. Oh, there we go. Still nothing though. <laughs> On the chat. Speaking of the chat. Amazing cutscenes. <clears throat> Amazing. Still again. Isn't it? Why did you, you can find look for isn't it me? Why did you come alert? What? You tr I can take things from you can find All right, good, eh? Pathway torches. Uh wolf tail during the event. I'll see when the event starts. Okay, where are the torches? The light exchange pathway torch operate at the wolf trap protected from the wolves. Um, something there and then some drops there. There's gonna be a vent here with the wolves. Uh. That's kinda nice one. Okay, that's the wolf trap. Let me get in the wolf trap. Let me get you in now. I think we kind of did, yo. Oh, there they go. Dog it, though. Sometimes. Uh, for the wolf hunting keepsake is a broken fang from one of the ferocious wolves that inhabit the Black Howl Plains. Only intrepid hunters can acquire this material. And then we need the to check it. There's some XP share there going. So when are we supposed to check it though? And they keep attacking it. Or there. Oh, we can do this now. Alright. You gonna use the trap all. 
Sehr gut. Aha. So it's gonna be even worse. Well, in the morning, you, you can just like join in the morning if you're chilling, for example, especially. Why not? I'll just join and play. I mean, it's only for the weekend available anyway, so might as well, you know. Might as well. Okay, where is the torches? Oh, wait, torches are there only, I guess. Pathway torch. Assuming somewhere in the road then. The crunch and family aggro. Well, I mean, then you can just like play some in the morning and stuff, and then in the evening just chill. Because the evening might be people to join. That was the case yesterday already. And day before yesterday, but that was kind of like the opening day, I guess. But yeah, yesterday was also fucked. Alright, where are the torches at? Probably doesn't carry so no FOMO, yeah. That is true, that is true. That's the bait. Should we need to do something with the bait now? I'm just breaking it. Where you are? Maybe was there more? Oh, there, I see. Go in. Oh, yeah, that sounds like it. That did seem like it. In the deed, eh? Hey, pony. Possess wolf tail x30 during the wolf hunting contest. But it's still not in the schedule though, wasn't it? Timetable. A wolf hunting contest. So... Oh, that will take a while though until it starts again. Oh, is that rare? Excavator 9. One case. All the old ding stuff is at 2 p.m. Come on, dude. It's like they were three hours. And they sniped it yesterday, though. That was pretty convenient, then. I thought it's more often. A wild pony appears indeed. Eh? A beacon fire. There. Participate and hand in 10 plus wool tails. Surely the day servers will survive. For now, they're fine. In the evening, I kind of doubt it though. I guess I kind of doubt in the evening. In the evening, they might not survive. Have you started it yourself now, Pony? How did not uh, yet? How did not yet? Oh yeah, you play played yesterday with that, uh, with the wand and stuff. I remember. Still going, still going. He raises it out. How are we doing? 
Uh, Steve is also doing one there. Access to Spoitel, damn son. Nice. Getting all the games there. One then stuff feels kind of nice. I see. And the combo go in. <laughs> Serious is all right. And now we shouldn't. That's important. That's the important Another stuff. The item required for the wolf hunting keepsake is one of the antlers laid atop the tomb of Hamel, Iskale's arch enemy. The antlers of the deer who sought their final rest there gleam and glow brightly with Hamel's mysterious powers. Chilling sounds good. Eh? The range, dude. Eh? So bad. Eh? Gigantic moonstone. Eh? Get back there. A wolf hunting keepsake. Uh -huh, see. And I see another one is not doable until the event happens anyway. Gotta get the wolf hunting contest, and that's still gonna take some time. Okay, I see. Back to normal weather soon. Feels good. Sweet, keep lightly. Hold and Thomas, a Castleton craftsman. Reminisced about the past and recreated the Skill same researcher. kind of wolf keepsake he made in times long gone. He vividly remembered the days when Iskale raided his town, recalling that alongside young Henry, who bravely set out to rescue the children, was an unknown hero. This one, where was the skills? Uh, up there. It does, it does sound like some director, at least, that's for sure. Uh, which one is that, though? Kill not be the one, eh? Got skill research there. I want to check. That's where we upgrade the skills, eh? Dog. Uh, pet the dog. Eh? Play with the dog. Eh? Let's see how it is. Eh? Got all the, all, the, all the animals around there. Let's see, Pony. I see. Eh? Well, this year I doubt it. This year I doubt it, I guess. I don't think there is anything planned even. For this year. That's how you go. Full train book. Adriana told you about how to improve skills using training or improvement books. You discovered that improving skills was a way to become even stronger. Carofton was successful. 
Human books. A skill training book was crafted with Adrian's help. Adrian said if a skill reaches a certain level, an additional effect will be activated. Such power will be very helpful in the coming war. Oh, book material, alright. Then I guess we go. And yeah, get some of this. For the required points, possibles arrived. Assassin's Instinct. Check melee and range and uh, critical hit increase. Offhand weapon marks damage. So, like, dual daggers with dual crossbow down does seem kind of good. Huh? Since you have the offhands and everything. I mean, it should work both on dagger and uh, since they're all active right now. So, that seems kind of like a good combo then. But the auto plating. Well, how, 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 how did that work? Yeah, just the literally the the mobile fiesta there. I'm not sure if it's in. I'm not so sure. Maybe they didn't introduce it yet. For me. And otherwise it's still in. Could be. They removed it. Okay, mom to mom and hitting things, alright. Well, that's what you heard, alright. Yeah, that doesn't sound very pog, eh? Oh, that was the case. That's not very pog indeed, eh? Isn't there a way through? Scene automation is not very good, eh? In this game, it could be maybe like not at least that bad eh? if they don't have any like stamina system or whatever going. But yeah, that's still kind of weird, eh? The RGB wolf, yeah. And complaints they removed it. That's a good call. That's a good call. Let's put in the game in the first place. I mean, they consider a mobile version. And uh, yeah, that, that's kind of mobile stuff. That was Ragnarok Origins also. Just just the other play. Just get yourself somewhere. Set up the zone where you're going to be farming. And go AFK. And yeah, your, your, your character just farms there. And you also have the stamina system, so you can only farm for like two hours a day. So you basically just like put it there for two hours. And that's it. <laughs> that's how you play the game. Oh, that was super weird. Eh? Oh, that was super weird. Eh? The Star Shire, are you seeking a path? But like that, I guess like on mobile and stuff. I guess on mobile is just like easier, I, I I assume. Instead of like, you know, like manually grinding a bunch. The wolf hunting keepsakes you've gathered. She was overjoyed, expressing her gratitude over and over again. So Eerie hoped that people would continue to remember Henry for years to come. 
and told you the location of the abbey where he's buried. Not for combat, it was always slower, I see. Yeah, if, it, if the game is like not um, stamina locked and you just kind of like remove some of the chores, then I guess it may be not too bad. Like in stamina locked games, it's weird because you just kind of expend your stamina on that and then you don't even play when you have no stamina. So, like, what's the point, really? Thank you. Well, stamina log games in general are trash, so it is what it is, I guess. There was no one in I guess, I guess. Hey, I hear children. Oh no, there are wolves here too. <laughs> Did you yeah. Because of this, Kale. So many people. I couldn't. The wolf. It won't be. Oh, would you mind? It's supposed to be a re related to internet fees paid by users who find an internet cafe. So just like run the game. Have have the game uh, the game up uh, longer. To get paid more. Because usually for that automation, you actually need to have the game on. It's not like, you know, you just like set something, press the button, and you like log in and turn the PC off. I don't think so. Because that's not how it was in Ragnarok uh, Origin. You need to actually have that shit on. And while it's doing that automatic stuff. I hear someone in the house. This way. <laughs> door is locked. It's okay, the wolves are gone. Please open the door. <laughs> the door just won't open. I think it's broken. What do we do now? Oh no, no. Happy. Are we go in. I'll break the wall even then, son. Wolves are gathering. Uh, yeah, people on mobile in general seem kind of like they. Wolf. They like all this like how to play stuff way too much. For some reason, people are like the other play. Yeah, if you jump in the water. Let's take a break. Are you hurt? I like it and they're wrong, eh? I mean ironically, yeah, like that that that's kinda like catch our breath for a moment. Um that is like weird shift from going from, you know, like actually making enjoyable gameplay and stuff towards uh, just like throwing all those uh, dopamine things in. So, like, the gameplay is, like, you know, supposed to be, like, a chore or something. And then you get, like, this, like, reward for that. So, when there is, like, a way to, you know, remove the chore by auto-playing or by, you know, paying and just getting the dopamine in the end. Uh, people like that, somehow. You close here. Hello. Like Ragnarok Origins, for example, like actually, ironically, was kind of nice. Like they, they literally just like took 
at least part of Ragnarok Online and redid it in Unity. So it's like more modern, looks better, plays better, you know. Combat is not like everything is there, but like kind of like renovated, you know. That That's exactly what you need to do. Just like take the old, you know, like Ragnarok Online and just, you know, some fresh paint and everything, a little changes and done. But now, then after, on top of that, they also added other play. So, like, Ragnarok is, you play that for gameplay. That That's, like, literally, you know, kind of, like, the same as, like, it's, it's kind of ARPG. <laughs> Before all this, like, you know, Path of Exile and stuff was cooled. Huh? In the end, in, in, in a way, it was sort of that. You just kind of, like, grind for rare drops. You grind for XP. You have the skill trees and stuff, stats, all that things, you know. Like, the, the, the grind process is... Uh, the fun, the main part. But then they just like took you yeah, and uh, got the gameplay into autoplay. We are out of time. As he's the USC. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I was probably just gonna put, gonna do it like for I don't know, like thirty minutes, hour or more, and then I'm gonna be switching. The wolves have been resurrected. Please protect the children until the end. And most systems become active around level fifty. Yeah, I think everyone just like getting there. Do you still level after fifty, or is fifty kind of like you know the end game level? Oh, you're just like getting them out. Yeah, you can, you can, like, really, like, a lot of these games, you can research on, you know, like, how they, uh, get, like, these, like, trends and everything implemented, yeah? I think it's kind of interesting in that way. Where you can find all the kind of, like, all the trends and stuff in there. I you see, like, all this, like, some weird, acute scene. Help her assistant with you, sort of like little Paimon or whatever, you know. That is like completely out of place also. And you're gonna go to some like cute little thing that's gonna be assisting you. I'm getting all also this like the... The research, not the research, but like the... Um, Exploration thing is also kind of like in Lost Ark and everything. Okay, real close not to play this, yeah. I mean, I assume at this point already maybe they like added it somewhere you can just like turn it off in the settings or something. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case, actually. I wouldn't really be surprised, though. That's the shortcuts to gameplay. Can they uh, wonder if they do have something like that? Prevent falling, them son. Content. Large scale combat mode. Eh? Cognitive enhancement setting applied uh, within conflict zones. Uh huh. It's like some giga zoom out, I guess. Now you can remove uh, showing others, Amitoi, though. Your, your, your own will be. You will still still be there. I guess you can turn your yours off. Yeah, can't remove I can't remove yours, but you got like the codex with all this like exploration stuff to put all the things in. I pretty do low. I guess actually PP Poos at the end of the tutorial, I see. Not gonna be on my toys anymore, eh? CCUSC. I mean, the narrator stuff is actually kind of nice. I like that. For MMO, I think that's good. Huh? I think that's good. Huh? Star Child. 
so you kind of like not really don't don't really need to just stay there reading and stuff you can just like run and it just gives you the the info you need while you already focus on some other shit that's kind of nice The Giga Power is there. Now, wake up from the nightmare and choose your own. This little one is ready too. May you have a glorious journey. While you were standing over Henry's grave, the spirit of the divine beast Hamel appeared. As he used his mysterious power, a vision... It's gonna be wiped, not gonna play anymore? Yeah, they're gonna wipe everything, of course. There's still a couple of months, so I assume like a bunch of stuff gonna change. They should just like call it, you know, like the... Play test or... Stress test or something, because usually after open beta, you, you just kind of assume that it's gonna be already... Going to release. That's how it usually goes, eh? but I guess not. At infinity a wheel, that's one. Hamel, the sacred deer of the Black Howl Plains, met his demise. And his death heralded Iskale's return. Those who fled from the wolves found themselves isolated in the abbey. Iskail, with the power of the star fragment and backed by a pack of ravenous wolves set upon them. While the people cowered in terror, Henry rose to the occasion. He had always admired Hamel's courage, and he took heart from it now, urging the others to escape. As Henry desperately battled against the wolves, Iskail rushed towards him. Henry knew of Iskale's weak point. Hamel had come to him in a dream, showing him what he needed to know. And so Henry hurled his torch at the bottles of lamp oil in the storeroom. The oil ignited instantly, and with each fiery explosion, the very ground beneath their feet trembled. Henry was caught in the flames, along with Iskale. All that remained when the others returned to the abbey were the bones and ashes of Henry and the wolves. Now the people of Castleton hold a wolf hunting contest every year to honor the courage and sacrifice of the young hero. If we start challenging the flying ragdoll, yeah, it's a little kind of like c c c combination is quite something, yeah. They sent in the player, yeah. And the wind indicator, like the weather and stuff in general is like affecting things. Uh. Uh, like so, yeah, the wind, the rain, at night, the day and everything. There's some like passives and everything that affect uh, things uh, more like during the night and everything. There are some crafting materials that only grow, for example, and appear in some... Uh, uh, weather conditions uh, at night, like mobs are seemingly were sleeping and stuff, too. And there's some new ones to that, too. Let me go to the port of this. I actually can just jump, probably. I just jump. There's like some way to kind of like get the stub in the back. I know we're not dropping it really that much. Let's see what you guys say. Yeah? Prepare for the grind of your life. I mean, it's the same stuff. You can actually check anything, right? 
Special store. A leveling logo. A bottle pass, obviously. There it is. Eh? Server transfer ticket for zero. Pug. Yeah, they will need that. I guess that's how they're gonna solve the, the, the thing, is eh? Okay, let's probably get you to like the, the Steam page, I assume. Most likely. So like the morphs you can get, which you can you can transform yourself instead of bounce. Cosmetics. Appearance change ticket. So there is for now. Doesn't look that crazy. Storage chest. Or is it like the oh, purchase history? Okay, I still think you increase the storage size or something. Yeah, battle pass is everywhere, yeah. Is there like a free one actually? Yes, yeah, so you have the free and the paid one, alright. Free pass, premium pass. But the usual, then you have uh, all the daily, weekly as usual too, and always reach level, someone, something, log in, let's see, play more rewards, Pug. Uh, level 3, how many levels are there? Going to 50, alright, not 100, alright. I see raises, alright. Companion actually going away. Everyone hating, everyone hating. I see raises, I see, yeah. Oh, for me, it's the release time. The release time frame is, like, really bad. The release time is kind of bad. And now you're going. I'm going now. Bother even playing. Doesn't even speak language, yeah. I'll meet again soon. There it is. I'm still gonna see it. Still gonna see it. And draw it until Stalker 2. Okay, that's like if, if it'll be like August or something, that'll be fine. Or like right now, for example, open bed is over and it releases it. Alright. I would be playing probably at least for like for like a month, basically. But then the September, not then, it was 17th, right? I think in September. Yes, that's where it goes. Eh? Now I have a new Amitoy. I still have something though. You ruefully parted from the little friend who had been by your side from the beginning, continuing your journey alone. All those reacts to their mood behavior. This is kinda like the pet now, I guess, still. Wolf release to heal the player, yeah, that stuff too. Amitoy, a lithograph book. This one. Items registered them in the lithograph book. That is completed, you can acquire listed rewards. Now it's the lithograph book. Where is the uh, oh, the Amitoy lithograph book? I get a bunch of like items here and get the rewards. Let's see. 500 hello. Yeah, I need to play it. I need to play the Lost Stalker still. I wish we will soon. Move oh, that stuff. Oh, I need to, of course. Okay, okay. Let's 
So I'm gonna have some different abilities and everyone is with the same. Well, for now at least seems kinda the same. Okay, you still have some some pits there. Huh? Ball synergy. Oh, so you can increase that too. And you get more more XP, I guess. Item drop chance. So you kind of want to get that seemingly. I'll do some of that. Yeah, collect some of these and you get the bonuses unlocked, I guess. Alright. I'll see. I like the collectible stuff to get some bonuses, eh? The events should be way more way more frequent than and shorter. Because like the, the wolf hunting is like once three hours and it's twenty minutes event. Like do the twenty minutes fighting for the leaderboard and stuff, like come on. Destroying people's rigs in cities with visual clutter. You can you can turn them off though. You can turn the display of uh, other players' uh, bits off in the settings. So that at least you can remove. Uh. You can see, like, 717th of September is pretty much, yeah, it's gonna be already Stalker. It's gonna be already Space Marine too. if I'm gonna be playing those. Uh. Well, Stalker most likely because of game pass and everything. Space Marine will see. Depends if I'll get lucky with getting it. Because I ain't, ain't, ain't spending, especially on the fresher releases nowadays when I have such a huge backlog and stuff. And the DN, the end of September, I potentially gonna be going for the Mega RL Fiesta for like a month too. So I'm like not gonna be grinding some of it then either. And then in the October, we move in to another country, which also gonna be like. With the, with the IRL Fiesta, pretty much. And then after that, in November, I plan to, uh, to hit some Ragnarok online. Grind that stuff. So that's already gonna take you know, over the, the MMO Fiesta. Uh, Trizia maybe gonna get on board also. So we gonna do some Ragnarok in. Forgotten the Ragnarok account, I see. It's gonna be the November most likely even. But early November, I assume. And you're gonna be moving... 22nd of October, potentially. Around that. So kind of like, you know, a week to uh, find a farm and settle and everything. You can do some IRL streams doing that, probably. And then, yeah, as soon as we kind of settle down, he's going to be time for some Ragnarok in. Okay, that is at least the plan, eh? So that's already going to be, you know, the, the MMO Fiesta. Contract coins. And on the one, though. This one. Take a look at the contracts before you start your adventure. I'm sure you the rewards are worth it. I like way more different traders and stuff here too. There's a lot of different ones. I can't believe the ghastly tales were true. Accessories, huh? Yeah. Where a lot of people are. Cut off the accessories. At the urging of the contract manager, Noss. You visited the Castleton Accessories Crafter, Marianne. Uncommon accessory. Oh, they were gonna have a lot of accessories, it seems like. And she gave you materials to make an accessory. Health region, uh, mother region, the removed, eh? 
a range evasion. Mobility evasion. Box health, stun resistance. Mm. Go health region, I guess. Nothing could often they all seem like. Actually check like some braces and stuff instead maybe. <laughs> Marion crafted an accessory for you. She said upgrading the accessory could make it even more powerful. I'll let her go again. Colossic. No lucky. That was intermediate actually. No pogi. With Marion's guidance, you successfully upgraded the accessory. The accessory became more powerful, just as she said. And the same system for everything. On oh, face and paper, it looks a little less dink as like Lost Stark or something, for example. But in fact, I feel like, I feel like it's gonna be pretty much the same in terms of a mana grind. Just instead of like failing something, it's just gonna give you less. But in fact, it's still gonna be the same in the end. I assume. Stalin jump straight into Concord, damn son. Why would we do the Concord? Why? I enchant skill now, you want me to do. Alright, sure. Bonus there. Not the same stuff with skills do. Move speed reduction rates. How big is that but juice? This one is quite kill white as only for execution. How about poison? Poison damage 2.1%. Damn, son. A generosity. Damn. It's a bit of growth. Another one. Sometimes lucky. Are they open better right now there? I see. How's that going? How's that going? Collect the dopamine there, yeah. Kadalsik. I hope they like not anytime soon. So watch the game in between instead of playing, yeah. That's the shit. That's the shit. I guess we're under here. Well, they we gonna play some other stuff. They will be playing some other stuff. And we shall switch soon. And we shall switch soon.
It is said that long ago, the seeds of a flower with jewels for petals fell on an unnamed land, and it became the beautiful field it is today. Yeah, something full in there. Goblins have long occupied and mined this mysterious gem-rich land, and they do not hesitate to slaughter any human who dares disturb them. The goblins, eh? But there they are, eh? The region with more ascites things. Um. Getting the burnout on release could be, could be. Does happen sometimes. Uh. Does happen sometimes if you go ham too much. Still not accumulating this though. The mastery. The XP you earn. Maybe when you get max level yourself, then XP goes towards the mastery. I don't know. Because for now, it doesn't. For now, it doesn't. Hovering over the close game button. I mean, why not? Why not? Gonna do that myself. Gonna do that myself. Yes, we have some other stuff too. Belay. How we do, eh? After all, eh? No progress, what's the point here? Yeah. Give me 0 out of 10 with 5,000 hours played, eh? I mean, the more you play, the more born, the usually the more you get a shit on it, most of the time. But most of the time, and people who do play a lot, they usually have the more, the most to say about it, you know? You'll, you'll, you'll see it in November, dude. I'm gonna be playing Ragnarok, and it's something I constantly return to, and I can shit on it for hours, man. Not on it, really, though. Mo more about, you know, like, the developer behind it and stuff, and what they did with my boy in last years. But I can do it for hours. Non-stop. See, Steve, I see. We're planning to uh, wipe the progress every six weeks. Oh, they did. Uh, they are changing that in the end. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Actually, window, yeah, that you you actually right. Yeah, yeah. I I I kind of like forgot about it that I haven't even seen Concord, and then I remembered yeah that it's not even available anyway. So yeah, I'm not even I'm not even planning. I'm not even planning today anyway. Kind of got this idea. Oh. And so you mentioned, I was like, oh, maybe I, maybe I download and play auto stream or something. And then I realized I can't even. See window is see. And the more you overdose, the more you hate everything. Mm, I don't. I don't think it's actually on the overdose, to be honest. Like, I can. I can. I can start playing Ragnarok, and from the get go, I'm already gonna start ranting about it, like. No problems, and I'm still gonna keep playing it for a couple of months. And then I will return after a few years again. I'm gonna keep ranting and playing, no problems. I feel it's kind of like more about, you know... Uh, it's just that you like play so much and everything, you just have more... You become more opinionated on like the, the issues that, 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 that exist there. Which, I mean, is also kind of subjective, right? For someone it might be an issue, for someone it might not be. Like I recently, for example, saw like people uh, defending uh, defending Todd for uh, Fallout 76. Like they basically like, in the item store it was always, uh, you know, oh it's gonna be a cosmetic only. Then every once in a while there is like, you know, some like, some things that seep in. That are totally not cosmetic, you know. That are totally not cosmetic. Like, first people were molding. Genuinely. Generally, everyone was molding. Now they added, for example, like the bundle. So, like, there's this, the the battle passes, right? You, you grind the battle pass. And some battle pass, you can unlock some sort of, um, uh, like, weapon, let's say. Usually kind of unique weapons and battle pass you can unlock. And pretty much all the rewards that are somewhat important you can later unlock with uh, one of the currencies in game so you kind of like you know you you, you you skip the battle pass you skip the season for example we weren't playing at that time right but there was like something cool you usually could just like go and buy it with some special in-game currency that you can grind 
it's kind of like time gated grind a bit even so it's not like you know you just like farm like crazy and get it but it's doable at least like you could get it there were like some some weapons some armors that uh that are really cool and you can unlock them with currencies in the game still i'm gonna spend a lot and everything but you can you have an option and then one of the one of the weapons now like it you can't unlock it any other way you can't unlock it with in-game methods but you can buy it with with the with money and they also on top of that it's a really strong weapon actually and they also on top of that they just shoved it in the bundle with a bunch of like dog shit just to kind of like you know increase the price so people want to get the strong weapon but they also gonna pay more just because you know there's like a, f a bunch of shitty skins on top of that so you can't even buy it alone <clears throat> you need to spend like for the whole bundle that will just give you a bunch of shit that you probably will never use because it's like like it's literally kind of like i wish it would be like some good skins at least it's dog shit skins and yeah, I did. I did see people being like, well, you know, there's like so many weapons in the game. You don't even need this one anyway. So whatever, man. All right. I guess. Good shit, dude. Eh? It's kind of sad to see because like they, and they, they, they got like a really good redemption arc on 76 after a really bad start. But yeah, the, the, the further away they go from the shitty start, the more like shitty moves they start kind of allowing themselves to do, you know. And it's still a nice game, still enjoyable to play. So, you know. It's also not completely false. Like, it's not like some sort of, like, giga OP weapon or something. It's just, like, a really good roll of uh, the automatic grenade launcher that is, like, better than any automatic grenade launcher you can get with, you know, just in-game methods. Eh? So, I mean, it's, it's not something that's gonna, like, break the game. It's not something OP. Oh, and one of other things, other arguments is like, you know, there is no PvP, man, so, you know, whatever, who cares, eh? It's not paid to win because there is no PvP, and you're like, okay, dude, see how it is, eh? Kind of weird, eh? Kind of weird, eh? Speed Freaks goes into early Oxys in August? Oh, it was in August, alright. I saw that it will be, like, later this year, but... Didn't, didn't see that it's already in August, actually. Oh, nice. Maybe, maybe. I, I don't think I'm going to be, like, grinding it too much, but maybe a little bit I would play. Maybe. 5k hours in any game is just better for you. No, I mean, I think it's uh, I think it's fine. It's just kind of, like... I guess overdose might be a thing, too. If you play too much, you just kind of, like... Like, it, it might be, like, if it's, like, 5,000 hours and stuff, I feel like it might be the case not of, like, you know, overdosing. It might be the case you kind of already just, like, tired of the game and you start trying to find this justification to drop it, you know, for yourself. So you're not just dropping it because oh, I'm kind of, like, you know, tired, so I'm leaving. Uh, because you can't either admit it just to yourself or to someone else or because you have this, like, I guess, like, sunken cost fallacy kind of, you know, like, on, on the scales. So you need to kind of put something on another side of the scales to kind of make yourself quit. So you start, like, you know, like, digging through all those, like, issues more to find yourself justification to just quit, basically. I watch favorite movie of 5,000. Well, I mean, that's a different thing, though, like, the game and the movie. Like, Ragnarok Online, I played a shitload of. I even like quit like for completely different reasons. To be honest, it's just like I, uh, we like bro broke up with my girlfriend that we were playing together, and I just kind of like didn't really want to play on that server anymore. And uh, in general, kind of was like starting on the new one again, grinding and stuff. And I was just like, you know what, whatever, man. I'm just gonna play something else already. Then at some point I wanted to return, but I already kind of wasn't really feeling like it. So like I never, I never played on that server anymore. And, like, in general, kind of, like, quit Ragnarok for a while until somewhat recently we played again with Riz and uh, with my viewers. Games are just longer. Mm, uh, I, don't, I don't really think so. Like, game games provide you, like, a lot of different things. If we talk MMOs, of course, right? If you play, like, single-player game, for example, right, for 5,000 hours, yeah, I can, I can see, like, if you, if you give me, like, some, like, Fallout or something that I love and I'm gonna be playing it for 5,000 hours non-stop, I'm gonna, I gonna be not happy about it, yeah. MMOs, I think, don't work. MMOs, I think you can you can actually, if it's a good MMO, you can play it for thousands of hours, no problems. And it's not gonna even make you mad, eh? No, usually, people, people doing it, you can get tired of playing it, for sure. But usually, it's kind of like some other things, eh? 
I don't even know like what 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 usually is the case. Like nowadays, nowadays, yeah, I play like for like two months or something in some MMO and I'm tired and I'm quitting usually. Like rarely I do more. I guess if you can consider 76 an MMO already in a way, then the like, current session already goes over two hours and two months, and that's that's impressive actually. And now I kind of my I kind of force forcing myself actually to play it less even because it just kind of like takes too much time and I don't want to burn out because there's gonna be like some big updates coming soon that I kind of want to play and stream maybe so I just don't want to burn burn out right before the updates and then they can never actually you know play them so I want to kind of limit it now so I can play some more later in a few months which is also the thing actually like 76 probably gonna be I assume next update gonna be close to October actually maybe like second half of September or something too because uh, they're gonna be like the Halloween update that one is not that massive, huh? Oh. The, Giga, the, the Genshin player arrived there. Huh? It's kind of far, though. There it is, flying there. Yeah, that is, that is true, pretty. That, yeah, that is also true. It, it depends, like, how committed you are. Yeah, if you play solo, like, for me, for me, for example, the... Uh, exhaustion sort of kicks in when I'm playing so that when when you know like the viewers stop stop playing and then I'm playing solo and I just kind of also like eh, okay I just quit I quit for five months and repeat it depends on the game really like in 76 I actually have no problems like quitting and returning in many other games if I quit I kind of like quit Especially life service stuff. They have like all those events. They have like all those like freebies and everything. So you just kind of, for me, it kind of works. I just realize how much I, you know, missed by not playing. And I just don't want to even return because I just realized that I missed all that shit. That's how I quit Hearthstone back in the day. That's how I quit Genshin. That's how I quit Star Rail and many other life service games. I just kind of like stopped playing for some time and then like this realization of you know missed opportunities while I wasn't playing just kind of makes me feel bad returning because you know I could have all that but I missed it so nope not gonna play at all. I see Steve I see yeah yeah playing with viewers is kind of like is it makes it way better. 76 is kind of actually quite unique in that play in that in that sense because there is a lot of like activities that you kind of do with people but you don't need like the permanent group or something like it, it does actually kind of go fine what is happening there some monka shaking stone thrower looks like I guess like the level of detail and the distance or something and then it died eh? So just like instead of animations, they just made it kind of like shake when it's doing something, I guess. When it's not loaded properly. Yeah, then it also kind of like if you, if you get attached to like some guild and everything, then it also kind of can be against in the situation. Yeah, when like like with, with, with my girlfriend, we broke up and I just kind of like didn't really even want to like continue playing. Because like, you know. It's the, the same guild and everything, and I just kind of like, yeah, yeah, no. I'd rather, I'd rather not see that. I'd rather not see that for a while. No reason the World of Warcraft still runs. I mean, many of the bows, really. The community. Community does, does wonders, man. 76 kind of solo ball, pretty good in that sense, though. But another MMO is, yeah, like, Lost Ark I quit because, like, all the viewers already quit. And I just realized that I got to, like, it was tier 4 or something back then. And I just realized that it was, like, kind of getting to the to the current end game like, uh, raids and stuff. And they were, like, dink. I just kind of, like, saw them and realized that, like, with randoms, that's gonna be a pain and a half to do. And since all the viewers already kind of quit, I was already, you know what? Fuck that about. The gearing system, I kind of didn't even mind that as someone who played, you know, Ragnarok online, for example. I actually kind of didn't mind because Ragnarok has the same gearing system, except if you fail the upgrade, you lose the item completely. In Lost Ark, you kind of go like, upgrade, fail. Well, shit, I'll farm and return. In Ragnarok, Upgrade, boom, broken, well, fuck, it's gone. <clears throat> Even if you paid real money to it. 
And those fucking backpacks we upgraded with Trizzy, dude, I still regret that shit. And like, we literally, like, I, I literally spent like 200 fucking euro there. 200, man. Just to upgrade that thing and never play again. Like, I wouldn't even mind if I would upgrade it, like, before and then play, you know? But, like, I literally just, like, did it and I quit it. So, I do have that fucking backpack there. <laughs> and he does, too. That's my biggest regret there. Because you, you spend real money to buy items, but you still can break them on that upgrade. Huh? And just go to that like plus 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 eight plus nine upgrade with this like low chance and like boom breaks. Something you actually paid real dollars for, it just like pee pee poofs. So like Lost Ark after that felt kinda like alright, that's fine. I mean annoying, true, but like all right, it, it 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 failed. I'm gonna go farm again and return try it again another time. But yeah, in Ragnarok it failed. Well, shit, it's over. It's gone. Like I literally like to to upgrade like one plus nine backpack. I think I bought like ten or something of them. The pack, the whole package was it twenty even, and a bunch of like upgrade items that have higher chance because right you're already investing money in the backpack. If you're gonna be upgrading with the materials that you got within game currency, you're gonna have like two times lower chance. So you know you kind of like. By not spending on better upgrade materials, you're already kind of like, you know, wasting more money on buying the backpacks themselves. So you just kind of buy backpacks and buy upgrade materials so you have better chances. It's like you literally buy or pay twice and you still have a chance to lose it all completely. Like there's no, there was, I think later they added like some systems for that because they also increased the upgrade levels, right? Like when we were playing, in version we were playing, it was plus 10 maximum. And then after that, they added another level of like upgrade materials and you go to plus 15 from there. So when it got like way too high, they added already some items that kind of like stop the breaking. You just instead of like breaking, it loses. Again, it doesn't stay on the same upgrade level. It loses some upgrade levels and you again need to climb it higher. And you're low. Hey, Axie, good morning. Now, grinding, it depends. Grinding, I really like. Like, Ragnarok, if you haven't seen Ragnarok, we're going to be playing again in November. If you if you feel like joining, feel free. Maybe uh, maybe uh, Trisa will join. Steve might join. Maybe we'll get one of our people who played Ragnarok. Like, with Ragnarok, we actually had, like, a full guild, pretty much. Even, like, two guilds at some point, wasn't it? Like, one and a half guilds, basically, of people. Uh, we did get a lot of people on board. So, we'll see. There will be some peeps. And, yeah, you will see... You will see. It's the, the Ragnarok just does the ARPG appeal. It's the same stuff. You pretty much just like grind levels. You grind like some rare drops. You get rare drops. Uh, dopamine hits. You know, you can sell them. You can use them. It just feels good. Eh? Yeah, New World, New World was, was a perfect example too. But like New World at least didn't have that crazy much of mechanics and everything but it's it, it also like the smaller groups and it also like yeah you just kind of like uh kind of fail and then it's gonna like, like when there was like that guy molding at pony for healing wrong or something just like one 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 time we got the random in the group it already was like some dude who was like you know telling that we do that uh, someone does something wrong and it's just like bruh i see how it is huh? that's why i don't even like the communications and stuff in games like that Hey, Ryan, hello. I missed the stream. Feels bad, Axer. Feels bad. Alright, so let's get the Nordland going. So, like, if that would be, like, better timing on release, I would play for sure on release. Because I kind of I like it. It's nice. It would be nice to, to, to just, you know, dip some time in. But, yeah, 17th of September, I'm not so sure. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe if I'll deal with like the Stalker and the Space Marine first. Maybe if IRL plans I'm not gonna be doing this time. We'll see. Like it depends on the monies really. If I'll be fine with budgets, I kinda want to do the Giga IRL stuff. If not, then I might do it some other time because like with company here and everything, I probably will be returning every once in a while just to, you know, kinda like show that I didn't just open the company and just like peace out. So I'm still gonna be returning and then I can do the Giga IRL anyway. 
But I also at the same time kind of want to get the Cloud OBS. So when we move countries, I have the Cloud OBS. So like, you know, if we take a while to get a new apartment to rent or something. So if there's like a huge downtime without me having some setup where to put the setup, I could at least, you know, go like IRL stream. And since you pay for the month of rent of that server, might as well, you know, just do IRLing. But I guess I could do IRLing around here or something. We'll see, basically. We'll see. Depends, depends. The gimmick of this MMO, do you know Lineage 2? That's basically from the same developers. It's just like a huge, massive fights, massive amount of players, a lot of PvP, territory control, castle control, sieges, you know, all that kind of stuff. With PvE, of course, too. This one already like a little more leaning towards the PvE activities, too, of course. But yeah, basically, basically need a lineage new in a way. Doklaus speaks to you. Oh, wait, which one? In which game running? In Ragnarok, no class speaks to you. I mean, you kind of need to look into it a little bit, like how the skills and stuff work, because at, like Ragnarok, I think has classes for like almost 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 everyone. It depends what kind of class you are you looking for. Maybe I can sell you some class if you want. Maybe I'll try to st to pitch some to you. At the worst during leveling and keeping up with the level gear in the beginning. Yeah, like the the, the race from the start in New World was nice. Like I, I like the end game. I actually yeah, kind of don't really care about too much because the, the end game in New World again becomes kind of like. Oh yeah, like you, you need you need to like do get a bunch of uh, farm bunch of materials and then you just kind of like you know craft 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 until you hit something good with abilities and then you got the top tier weapon and then another update comes and they add like some new item levels and stuff and you again go like you know farm 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 craft 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 until you get the new top weapon and it's just like bro. I actually did like really like the low tier uh, new world because like. You can't really craft top tier stuff yet, right? Because there's no like top tier crafters, there's no top tier crafting materials. So you just find where kind of best in slot ish weapon drops from some bosses, for example, right? Some world bosses. You go there and you farm them for that weapon. That was satisfying. That I did like. Wait, that, that actually kind of was scratching this like Ragnarok each a little. You just like, you know, go to the spawn of like some boss, for example, some named light enemy, and you just kind of like, you know, farm them until they drop the shit you want. And you get like named weapon from that boss with those specific abilities that you can use. That was nice. I like that. Or you go to like some dungeon, for example, some raid, right? And you can get like some named weapon from that boss. That will be kind of your current best in slot because, well, you don't craft the dang shit yet. Ragnarok gonna play as the merchant. Yeah, the merchant basically are gonna have a mechanic. The blacksmith becomes mechanic, so you're gonna have a mecha to control. You're gonna be a mecha. Yeah, like the the mecha suit basically with a bunch of different abilities to it. There is a. I don't remember like the the alchemy the, the alchemist branch. I'm not like super familiar with, but yeah, like basically like the biochemist and everything. You just have a bunch of like potion throws and, and abilities around that. I think there's like the the card cannon and stuff also for the uh, the biochemist. See, so your card also can can shoot stuff. But the mecha sounds cooler though for sure. Pure archers, I like the belly ranger. The belly ranger would be rogue probably. The thing is, like, it's 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 not gonna be like switching between. You you, you either kind of pick the dagger rogue or you pick the bow rogue. That's usually kind of the case. Like, it's it's not that uh, that good to mix both because different stats you need for for those weapons. Uh, sword magic, sword magic. What was there with sword magic? With sword magic, I guess. Well, first of all, you have ninja, for example. Not exactly sword though, but yeah, you have that. Uh, you have that stuff with surikens and everything. The ninja maybe not like the kind of the best class, even though I heard like some 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 like 
upgrades of Ninja are good. I'm not sure if that version on that server is actually with the, the Ninja uh, Giga classes. But the stick magic that also has uh, that also is there. Well, technically, the sword magic is uh, well. First of all, you have also the dragon. I was gonna, the rune knight, and then they become dragon knight. You do literally have the magic, but the magic is kind of like from the dragon. You ride on like the dragon breath and everything, or you can go the two-handed sword on him, and then you have also like some some abilities that are kind of dank with two-hander, or you can go the royal guard. But then it's not sword; that's more like spear, I think, magic. You have a bunch of holy stuff going there. And the crispy bacon back at it, I see, I see. Yeah, guild control in New World was really, really skewed. There was like some few, few guilds basically. Like if you, if you just rent them, yeah, you kind of like. Well, it's not like even you. Obviously, you can't really control anything being a random play alone, right? But like you can't even participate in anything because it's not going to be like the faction. It's going to be just a like guild, and then that one guild also picks, you know, like makes the secondary guild and then like tertiary guild and stuff. And basically, like everything is run on the different factions. Even sometimes it's the same guilds, and everything is like uh, a being run by uh, the, sa the same guild runs everything something druidy hmm druidy I don't think so really there's like basically like priest uh, with all the healing and then like holy things uh, but there is uh, well the, the wizard like warlock and uh I don't even remember what on the fourth class is more kind of like elemental stuff. Sorcerer, kind of not exactly. There's like some mist stuff, like the cobweb things and all that shit. No summons too. Well, I guess Alchemist has the, the homunculus uh, summons, sort of. I'm not sure how, how they work in like the, the later classes though. In upgraded classes uh, that I'm not so sure. That I'm not so sure. The Royal Guard is kind of cool, though. I need to look into it. There, there are some like dink, dink uh, skills for that shit. Even though it's kind of like not the sword; it's more like a spear, I guess. It's more like a spear eh, with the holy shit. To be honest, I think. Well, actually, I'm not so sure. Like a ranger, actually, is. Uh, Kind of like not not exactly uh, the the bow because you also have the you can you can you can you basically ride the varg eh? and then it becomes kind of more like you using the varg eh? to attack things eh? in a way in a way yeah I can check there can check there. I, I really like uh, like the mo the monk man. Monk is insanely good. Monk is good. Sura is also really cool. But like that, I, I kind of don't like that. Like the description of fourth classes is really like boring. I don't know. It it, it, it I guess it's kind of the same if you look at the description of other skills too. Because when you use them, they kind of like when you actually run it, it's less boring. But like you look at descriptions of fourth classes and it's just like pretty much everything's AoE because I mean that's what the game is about mostly, right? It's like huge crowd the crowds of mobs. So the better the AoE, the better. It's like everything's AoE, everything's like some insane damages, and that's pretty much it. Like you don't really see a lot of like some super cool skills or anything. But yeah, that might be kinda of just just from description. It might be it might be not exactly true. It all might play a bit differently. But like Monk is really cool, and Sura also that they uh, like upgraded on the mod. Like I, I barely played Sura. I'm gonna probably gonna mod Monk again because Sura was really nice. J just even looking at the skills and stuff, there was a lot of cool stuff. And then uh, the next one, the uh, Inquisitor, I think, is it the fourth one? That one just kind of feels a little more boring. Even though I guess it does still like, have mechanics. You have like some sort of like like the ju judgment on or like something mark that you apply on the mobs with one skills then with the other set of skills you like elevate the judgment into another one and then the, you have like kind of like the finisher skill that just kind of like explodes all those judgment things 
Yeah, yeah, that was the labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. Was it? Was it the? No, I think it wasn't the labyrinth. It was uh, running in circles. Huh? It was like running when you uh, and you're not not supposed to, like fall or anything. Not supposed to stop or something. Just like running. Uh, the real content you enjoy, yeah, exactly. That's the MMO content, man. That's what I like in Ragnarok because you also can. You don't have quests like here. You know, you know, you need to kind of like run somewhere, ch check the map or something. In Ragnarok, you see the mobs, you just kind of you know like kill the mobs and you talk, and that's it. That that's that's the beauty of Ragnarok, dude. I have some music is on. I mean, the soundtrack is insane in Ragnarok, but still, since you kind of sit in the same area for like you know dozens of hours farming the same the same uh, items that you need, for example, until it drops, you kind of get a little tired of the same soundtrack, so you you start switching that usually. Even though bangers are really nice there. But yeah, I don't think there are melee for the ranger. On the fourth class I checked, I think there is also mostly not really melee stuff. The knight and royal guard could be cool though. I really like those. But I'm gonna be Monka though. Yeah, Monka gonna be nice. Monka seems nice. Guillotine, cor uh, Guillotine Cross is actually also really cool. Like that, that was like when I tried the third classes for the first time. I barely played third classes actually, just on some high rate server to check how they work. Fourth classes never touched at all. I did like the, um, I did like the the Guillotine Cross in a way. They they kind of added this like sort of like World of Warcraft rogue stuff there, as in you have like this attack that builds up, you know, the combo points, and then you have like the finisher based on the amount of a. Uh, Amount of points you got and stuff. I really did like that. That was like back then for 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 Ragnarok. That was like damn sound. That's cool. But no melee there. I see. Well, you can go with traps though if you want. If you go with traps, sometimes you actually do go with melee. Well, you you just basically equip sword and shield just for survivability, and then you just go the trap build. And that was a thing. That was a thing. And if I think maybe if you go like a warg or the birdie build, sometimes people also were using just like some dagger or so. I think dagger you use, not the sword. And shield just to uh, to get some survivability while the birdie is doing the main the main thing. But not sure how viable that is though. And I think on the fourth class now you have both Berg and warg. And I'm not so sure what's kind of the meta with that. Because with the warg, you could just beat the warg, basically. Just ride the warg, and then you just attack stuff on the warg. That's pretty much it. Hey, Jordi. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? And yeah, the, the ever more hunting galore. Yeah, we'll see. I will, I will, I will look into it. Maybe I'll consider just, like, chilling, because, like, you know, the, for the financials. Well, this month, actually, can at least is kind of all right. Thank you, guys. But... Yeah, it was like a little, some dry months there. We'll see how next month will go. Yeah, we'll see if I'll manage to get some like fundraising going to get the IRL, the gig IRL galore. And then second half of September until the end of October will be kind of uh, loaded. Eh? Well, actually it will be probably uh, like the whole October, I assume, because like 22nd of October we're going to probably move in and I will be like a week for everything to settle. Here we managed to we moved 16th. 18th we already got the apartment we're moving here. And 19th basically I think I streamed already. So three days. That that's good, but you never know how lucky you will get there. Uh so I will be let's say 27th, 29th, I guess, just to be safe. So I guess yeah, like the whole of October. So like very last days of September, I will start the IRL galore, get the server rent, and just go for it. That's probably going to be the plan. Even though I'm actually going to look in the weather, how it's going to be the weather on my route in October, because if it's going to be already like the full rain galore, that might be not that good for IRL. I need to do a bit of a research, basically. But with weather, you can't predict, though. That's the problem. Can't really predict that. Otherwise, it uh, would be easy if I could, huh? The corpus stuff. Well, the first bank, uh, first the bank said no and left. So maybe on Monday I will try to do in the morning, or on my day offs I will need to go to another bank and try to apply there. Yes, yeah. How's it going, boss? Face hello. 
Yeah, well, you man. Thank you, Jorty, for the streak. Thank you, sir. Well, let's get some Norland going. See, if I will not move in one, and I'll move in with the IRL Fiesta, then I will just... Just maybe play this then. When it releases, maybe. If IRL's going, then I'm most likely just not going to have time. Unless I just like start play for a couple of weeks and then ditch, but that doesn't sound kind of nice. So we'll see. We'll see. Kind of depends on the weather. Kind of depends on the weather and the money. We'll see. Because technically I will be here again in Georgia, right? So I will get the opportunity to do some dink IRLing. But I still kind of want to do this time too. So need to decide. Need to decide. It's, it's complicated, man. Currently just kind of, you know, like the tunnel is on getting the uh, the bank account set. And then getting the, the Twitch paycheck set. And then after that already kind of going to be a bit easier to think about things. Eh? So going to have friends visiting next uh, next week from Armenia. So that's also next week going to be kind of like all over the place pretty much with that shit. So bit annoying. I wish the, the bank would, uh, the first bank would work. So I didn't need to go anywhere else and do more shit. Got the Twitch notification. Okay, which one? Oh, that uh, the uh, that the I'm alive all of a sudden. Or did you get some drops here or something? All right, boom. So um, let's get a bit of Norland going. The Norland got a patch, so let's try the new run with that. Ah, I see, Jordy. I see. Doing good, boss face. Doing good. Hello, with remote. I see, I see. Graphical fidelity. Graphical fidelity optimization. And I mean, it, it depends how it handles the... Um, the mass action there because like if, if you can just like hop in and uh, join some huge faction pvp -ness, that might actually be kind of nice like i'm not a huge fan of like small scale high commitment pvp right when you just need to get like a team with communication and stuff i don't really like that too much i kind of like when it's like drop in drop out there's just like some faction fighting go and you just kind of like teleport in you know join some random group just do your thing you know participate have fun that's kind of warhammer online how work you just like check the special you know like tracker of activities all right like tier like three in this area there is like a siege going all right you just teleport there join like the warband and there you go you have the heals you have buffs or you heal and buff and you just like fight and everyone's leaving everyone's going you know no hard feelings no co uh, commitments that's beautiful i love that that's my jam 